Hey everyone, and welcome to World Heritage Journey, where today we're at the high coast and Kvaken Archipelago in Sweden and Finland. So today we're in an area of Sweden known as the high coast, and it's called that because it's the world's highest coastline. Now it's achieved this by a process known as isostatic land uplift. Back in the last ice age, 20,000 years ago, this area was covered by an ice sheet three kilometers thick. The weight of the ice pushed the land down, but when the ice melted and the glaciers retreated, the land slowly started to lift back up again in much the same way that a mattress lifts back up when you get off the bed. And so it's left a real mark on the area. And once you know what to look for, you can see traces of it everywhere. Let's check it out. What's incredible about the land uplift is that since the glaciers retreated 15,000 years ago, the land has risen in some places almost 300 meters. There are settlements that archeologists have found from the Bronze Age around 5,000 BC that were once shoreline settlements and are now 150 meters above the water. And it's still going on. The land is still rising by around a centimeter a year. And it's estimated that in about two and a half thousand years, this area of Sweden will be connected to Finland via a land bridge. Behind me, you can actually see a fantastic example of the land uplift process in action because up on the top of the hills are the large boulders where they were smashed by the waves thousands of years ago. The smaller material trickled down to the bottom, the sand, the clay and so on, and it made for great agricultural land, which is why there's now farms over there. And of course, there's more of that under the water as well. Now this currently is an inlet. You can actually sail a boat from here onto the Baltic Sea if you would want to. But in a few hundred years, it will be completely cut off and it will become a lake. Towering above me, you can see the Skula Baguette, and it's the highest point of the high coast at 295 meters, where just below the summit is the world's highest bit of coastline, which I find absolutely incredible that this was once on the coast. But geography is just like that sometimes, you know, it just shapes and changes the world and humans have to adapt to it. And I find it absolutely fascinating. And it's been a very beautiful visit as well. I've really enjoyed it. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.